is Miss Emily from MotionTutor.com. This is another video on number bonds. Now, if you don't know what number bonds are, be sure to watch the introductory video on number bonds. That will help you understand what's going on in this video. Remember, after every video, try out the activities on the website MotionTutor.com. Alright, let's get to the lesson. Okay, just like what we previously said on the other video, that number bonds show how numbers are put together. Now, in this one, we see this 8, and we see it's been put together by 5 and 3. 5 and 3 combined together gives us 8. Now, we're going to find the pictures that matches this number bond. So, which one of these pictures? The black marbles, the apples, or the stars? Which one of these pictures illustrate what's going on over here? Let's take a look at the marbles. We have one, two, three, four, five marbles. Five marbles, and it's being broken up into three up here and two down here. The apples, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven apples. With the seven apples, we have three up here and four down here. And with the stars, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stars. So it's eight stars together, and we have five up here, and three down here. So, out of the three pictures over here, the stars match the number bond. Because it's eight stars, and it's being broken into five over here and three over here. See, this five goes there, and then the three goes here. And so together, they become eight. So this image of stars match, matches that. All right, let's go on to another example. Looking at this, we have five, and that is being represented by a three and a two. So these three and two, put them together, you get five. Now, which one of these images matches the number bond over here? Over here, we have one, two, three, four, five, but it's being represented by, it's, or it's being put together by four and this one. That makes five. Over here, we have one, two, three, four, five. And that is shown to be three and two. And over here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that is three up here and four. So which one matches? I'm sure you guys see it. This is the one that matched. Because you have three, it's going to go over there, and the two goes over here, and together, they're five. All this together is the five. Okay, let's do another example. Here is five, but we can see it's being represented as four and one. So four and one put together is this five. 
which one of these pictures illustrates or better yet matches this number bond? Well, it has to be this one, right? This one, because here's that one that matches with that, and here's the four, one, two, three, four, that matches with that. So that means all together, all together, that's five. On to the next example. All right, we have four and three and put together seven. Another way you can look at it is seven is being broken down to three and four. That's another way you can see it. So which one of these pictures shows seven all together and three and four are the parts? Well, I see three here. I guess it goes there, right? And then I see four over here. And it goes over there. Or it matches there, so that means one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This whole thing matches a seven. This one's wrong because here's three. Okay, yeah, that's correct so far. But this is five. One, two, three, four, five. And that does not match, does not match with that four. So that's not the correct answer in case if you're wondering. So yes, this is the correct answer. Seven. Okay, let's get to another example. Here's a final example. Now we have nine, and we can see that four and five put together is equal to nine. Now, which one of these show us a 4 and a 5 being put together equal to 9? Up here, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so we know this definitely is not. I'll cross this out. This is definitely not. And then we can see down here, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 1, 5. So this does not equal to 9. But here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, that's equal to 9. And then individually we have 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, so far everything's looking good. And then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Everything's looking good so far. So, that means this whole thing is equal to 9. See? The 4 and the 5. Well, that's all for this video lesson. Be sure to check motiontutor.com for other activities and games related to these video lessons. And remember to subscribe to us so you can be one of the first to get any information from us. Anyway, thanks for now and bye.